What up, what up, bros? I just wanted to make a video and showcase a couple of my new ratchets. And especially one I have. I really want you guys to see. I haven't seen a lot of videos about this on YouTube. I'm sorry I don't have good uh, camera equipment, but this bad boy. This is the Star Vila, they call it. Just got it today. Indexing flex. It's hard to do it with one hand. It goes pretty easy, though. It, uh, it is a work of art. 90 teeth, I believe. It is by far probably my favorite one I have right now. Um, I have the Coke sitting right next to it. That is a gem, too. I had the little spinner on it. Um, that's been very nice also. No bad, literally no bag drag on this. Listen to that. Oh, I also upgraded this SK to a DT tooth. This is pretty nice. If you like the old American round heads, this is a beast. Um, I love them personally. Personally, myself. And I got into a little bit of a Capri here. They surprised me a lot. Very shiny. Very nice chrome job. Very nice. 72 tooth. It used that old bat, bat wing paw style. Just like the uh, next one I'm about to show you, the Williams. Nice. It has a spring in the head here. It keeps it nice and tight. Hear it? Very nice. Highly recommend. Very cheap. Very nice. This is the old Williams. You can't go wrong with this. 36 tooth. Not too hard to shift either. I like this ratchet too. Really not too bad on the back drag, honestly. I like it. It's a brute. I got all of them. I have many more on the shop, but this is just what I had kicking around in here. I was doing so look a shine job on that. Oh my god. And I know you see the two Nepros sitting in there. We might bust into them. I might open them up for you. And we have the 120 XP. This is actually not bad. I like it a lot better than the 92s. These are all pretty new ratchets, so they're not very dirty or anything. I bought them all in the last few weeks. My main used ones are uh, out in the shop. But some of these are going to work their way into rotation here real soon, trust me. This, I got it at O'Reilly's. I love it. It indexes. I think it was 25 bucks. A part number. This is hard to see. GM. Yes, I can't see it through the camera. GM. Six one seven nine. It's not hard to find. You just punch in. Punch in flex head on O'Reilly's. Is the first one that pops up on the website. It's really not bad. I put it under a lot of work. It's more like a. Ratcheting box and wrench, the way the thickness of it and the way everything goes, but it reverses. But it's very nice, very clean. Very surprised with this. I like it. Oh, then I got the old Williams Americans over here. This thing is a brute. I have the old double tooth ones in the shop too, dual paw. I think I like the old dual paws better, but this is nice too. Just, you can tell there's a big old Paul sitting in there. I mean, that is a mighty ratch, ratchet. And his little brother sitting here. Same dealio. I give you the part numbers, but everybody knows these wrenches. They're very common. This one I got on eBay. I'm getting a battle war over it. They don't, SK does not make these anymore, um, as far as I know. It is a fun ratchet. I have used this one a few times. I love it. This, these are very useful where the center line comes, center pin comes through here and uh, just the angles you can work at. They are, they are helpful. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, I have a flex head. I don't need that. Well, these are, these are helpful. You can get by without them, but. Why not have one of every, you, everybody knows this, the regular old SK. I actually ended up buying this for 50 bucks. It had the DT tooth in it, and they wanted, 
almost 40 bucks for just that DT2. So I bought this and switched it out, and then I got the free, uh, well, not free, but I got a ratchet for basically 10 bucks instead of just buying the DT. An old right. Not really that old, but. but. Oh, man, ain't that smooth. Double Paul. Beautiful. Get you a part number on that. This one I highly recommend. I highly recommend buying all of these, but three four nine zero oil only. Oh yeah. Ain't that clean? It has a beautiful chrome job. Oh my god. I got a couple of little SKs here. Oh, I like this one. This one has a three eighths drive and the quarter inch long body. It is um useful. 60 teeth in it. Thought about DT in it, but I think I'm just going to keep it. Keep the lower back drag in it. The DT has, gives it a lot higher back drag. And, and a quarter inch is nice not for me not to have a ton of back drag. This is a very useful little ratchet. Little 3.8s. Stubby. Beast. Love it. Same as any of the other SKs. I'm trying to buy a bunch of SK out because I'm worried about what's going to happen with them. I know I heard from a dealer that over 1,500 SKUs got deleted already, and yeah, when and if SK does come back, it is going to be different. I like to get their ratchet and box wrenches with the six paws, but they are having a time getting them right now. This is a nice little quarter inch. I don't think I put a lot of torque on it, but it is nice. I love old round heads. There's something about them, the way they sound. Oh, here is one of the old Williams, but this one's interesting. This is, uh, I have all the super ratchets, but this is actually a Vulcan. Come on, focus. A Vulcan. I have a Vulcan in the B54 Flex, too. That's a very nice ratchet. I have two B54s. Those are hard to get. Old double paw, just a clicking. Oh, I love that. And this one just came in pretty good shape. A little rust on the handle, not bad. I could wire wheel that off if I wanted to. But I love these ratchets. It's hard to get open when them with them. It'd be nice to have some kind of spanner or something versus beating on it with a screwdriver. I don't want to beat on it. I haven't had to. It runs very clean, so I'm not very worried about it right now. You just put a little oil around the edges here and turn it, and it leaks right into it. It's a mini version. These are a little rare. Uh, M, I think it's the M52. This is the older style, like the Super Ratchets. Doesn't have that same top and the solid bottom. It's just got the coil spring, but they still make a newer version of these today, except the newer version is a double paw. This is a single. But it is a nice ratchet. Is this the best quarter inch ratchet? Probably not. I just wanted to add this to my collection. This little Baco though. I like this. This is a apparently has the snap on guts in it. You can buy the snap on rebuild kit. And this is very small. If you see just four fingers, it's it's not large, but it it's quarter inch. It is what it is. It uh it's nice. It's a snap on. Basically, with a different look. I like it. A little quarter inch right here. Like this. This is a 45 tooth. This isn't the only double paw. Non-double paw right I own. Yep. Back drag's not too bad. There's a 45 tooth on something is plenty. I guess if you're working in really tight spaces, but... Let the tooth count scare you too much. Mid tooth count, 45, 50, 60. They're not bad. This is a set I've been building. I didn't want to buy it all at once. It's a, pretty much a copy of the Blue Point. They're the only ratcheting uh, reversible ones I've found besides the Blue Point. But this one's the Williams. They're a little beefy on the head, but they're nice. I like them. I'll show you the rest of the set here sometime in another video. This is more just a little fun video. 
other videos, I'll take a bunch of them apart. Uh, there might not be a, a lot of need to take a lot of these apart. There's already a lot of videos online taking most of these. They're all fairly common ratchets. But I'm just getting into the ratchet video game. I actually really, believe it or not, I was skeptical about this. 120 XP. But it's been very smooth. I took it and I broke it in nice and slow. Spun it for a little bit, then turned and put some counter pressure on it, and spun it, and lubed it up, and cleaned it out. I was just wanting gears to skip all the fine teeth in that. The yeah, only thing I can say I didn't really like about it, I don't know if I can pick it up, is... It doesn't seem to bother it, but you can see... Yeah, these lines are crooked. I guess that's what you get. They're made in China now. It works fine. It doesn't skip a beat. It just is an eyesore. This is, you know, made correctly. Just they chop the lines at an angle. Oh, it's bright there. Sorry, I'm trying to avoid that. My first video. I'm, I'm learning. I wish I could find a little bigger C-clip for this to take a little bit of play out of that anvil. It's not super bad, but I just worry about wearing these. The double paw. Not that it's a snap on prices or anything, but you put about 60 bucks for it. It's just, again, that one, phew, almost as nice as any of these other. This is really mostly about the Stavila. Uh, man, isn't this nice? Push button flex. I would like to see it go down a tiny bit more on the, that's as far as it locks down. We'll go down further, but it won't lock any further. And I guess it must, they had their reasons, I guess. It will lock quite a bit further back. It will lock that far back. But matte chrome finish. I tried taking it apart a few minutes ago with the two C-clips. It didn't seem to want to pop. Part. I have some instructions. I'm going to look at it. I literally just got this about an hour ago. So It is a beauty. I didn't know if I'd like that handle at first. But it is nice. It fits the hand nicely. Nice just as long as anything. But a little tiny bit longer than the Coke and long handle. This. I love with this thing too. It's so hard when you have these. All these hundred and a little bit more wrenches you know you don't have to pay two hundred dollars like snap on prices and i think they, they are competitive to snap on this is a very strong ratchet with a very low back drag it actually has a kind of like a block pawl and then another plot pawl on top of it that it rides on it kind of slides back and forth and it basically wedges against the housing on either side and it, it is strong and it's very low like it takes nothing to turn this. I highly recommend this ratchet. There's this one ball detent that holds holds the middle spot, but it's still it's still very stiff on the flat spots. I was surprised. I was a little skeptical at first. It was going to scratch it up and stuff, but I guess time will tell. But it has been holding up. Holding up nicely, not a scratch on it. Yeah, I always oil these ball detents just to make them go a little better. Getting kind of fond of this style ratchet. I don't normally like the quick release. This obviously isn't. It's just part of the anvil that spins. But I think that's a nice. I think that's a nice look. Anyways, I like that. Got a little spinner that went with it. This is fun. This has been fine. I've already been through these, but the DT. Just trying to show you all the aspects of these. If you're in the market for different ratchets or wrenches. Very nice and fairly stiff. I don't know how it will be after I beat the hell out of it for a while, but it's not too hard. See, I can one hand it. I can usually one handed turn that, which I did because I'm making the video. I love the way it sounds. Oh my god. Anyways, that's the centerpiece. Oh, why not? Let's take the Nepros out real quick. Oh, 
little time here. Try not to wave my camera around too much. You know, this camera ship is probably horrible. Let me set this. is a little beauty. Quarter inch flex. These I think are interesting. They have a little PVC piece in there instead of a ball detent. There's a spring that runs down in it. It actually keeps that fairly stiff. One thing I can say I haven't really 100% liked about these I don't really like the switches on them that much. They're fine. They're metal. They're just just a little bit of play in them, that's all. You really can't really see it from here. The quarter inch isn't as bad as the um, three eighths. I'm gonna try to tighten that little bolt up there. Anvil plays very good and a little bit worse than the quarter. Perfectly acceptable, I think. Can't really even see it move over holding it with one hand, but God, it sounds nice. Damn heater wants to kick on right now. Anyways, that is a nice. It was about a hundred bucks on Amazon. You can probably find it cheaper other places. I love these. I have a hard time using them. They're kind of toolbox queens at the moment, honestly, but we'll get there. I have a pretty good size hand and it is pretty small. I mean I'm a grown 220 pound man. Pretty good size hands. Basically, when I use it, about. And it comes right about to that third finger, right in the knuckle there, my ring finger. You could choke up on it a little bit, I guess. But it's good. It's a good. Compared to. Uh, no, that's a 3 8, but. You know. That's a pretty, I always thought that was a pretty short quarter inch, and it's even shorter than that. Right. And I'll show you the 3 8 Snapros too real quick. I got a ton of ratchets and wrenches and videos I want to upload. Here, I gotta put you down again. This was supposed to be primarily just a star vila. But God, I gotta show you guys. I love seeing different ratches. This is the same, that little nylon bushing there, the stopper it keeps the head nice and snug. With the spring in it, even as it wears out, it will keep pushing up. So it should stay nice and tight for a long time. But because this is the I don't know, let's see, it doesn't just move across, it just it has a little play in it. It's fine. I'm sure it will last forever. But doesn't change overly stiff. It's positive. Change. She's a 92. Scuffed it up a little using it. No big deal. It's just a painted cap. Oh, doesn't that sound nice? This, um... Uh, it's a little more recessed on this. Everything is. It just This thing's got fingerprints all over it. And it's still blinding you. It is an amazing chrome job. Stark difference between the Star Villa, which is a matte, matte or whatever you want to call it. Satin finish, which I love. I know, I'm getting a lot of these. I want to get a ton of these satin sockets. They are nice. This is just a deep. I even put it against one of these SKs that have gorgeous chrome. You can just... It's in a league of its own as far as chrome. And it is heavy duty. This is a heavy 3 8 fucking short. Don't really... I had to get a tape measure. About 9 inches long, maybe. These are usually 11. These 3 8 11-ish, 11 and a half. I don't know. Eight, eight or nine, maybe. Nice, very nice. I'll take some of these apart here in another video to see. These have very, um, these two actually have very similar pulse systems in them. 
from what I've seen. This one has a beautiful park. It wrapped. It starts up here and it wraps right around. It's kind of like the snap-on. Except there's not a spring in between them. There's just a piece of metal in between. So it's one big pawl. But essentially, it doesn't have the plate and the Mickey Mouse ear underneath of it. But it, it, uh... It's, it, the pawl is similar anyways. The gearing to change it isn't so much, but the pawl is. Oh, it sounds so good. That is just... This is a work of art, it really is. I'm getting the half inch next and Love it, love it. Well this video has already gone twenty minutes, it's probably enough. Um Yeah, we're gonna be tearing a bunch of these apart. I gotta come up with a name for my video. Uh I got a ton of tools I wanna show off, a ton of tools that a lot of people have but nobody reviews. So, as you can tell I'm not Ain't nobody paying me. This is all home, hard-earned money. One thing about this Williams, I'd say, uh, I don't really like the stamping up top here. I don't know if this is normal, but Williams is kind of known for that type of thing. I'm giving you a nice wrench, but messing up on stuff like that. But their price is more than fair, and these are rugged. Holy hell. I don't know if you can get a rugged a wrench in an old Williams. Like I said, even these round heads are something else this is a beast i use it as a breaker bar most of the time 15 inches long i have the old dt on the way too so i love the rough finish here and the beautiful all right guys i'll leave you at that and um uh, i got four five six seven lots like this i can show you guys left in ratchets i think i'll randomly show and if you have any questions i can take certain ones apart in a video or Whatever, if anybody even ever sees this, I don't know how it works, I don't know how you get views, but I just want to do a video, and I will try to be a lot steadier in my camera in my next videos, I just got done clamming, clamming on lobster today, I'm a lobsterman from Maine, and uh, that's what we do, we rebuild our own stuff, and we work on stuff, I'm not a professional mechanic, but I love tools, I'm a collector of tools, I'm a user of tools. Tools, tools, tools. Alright guys, have a good day.